Hello friends, in this video I am going to take question number 1 of exercise 9.5 from the chapter Differential Equations of NCRT Maths Textbook Class 12. So friends, the question is like this. In each of the exercises, show that the given equation is homogeneous and solve each of them. So we have to solve this differential equation by proving that it is a homogeneous equation and after this we have to solve it like a homogeneous differential equation okay now we take the differential equation and to prove that it is a homogeneous differential equation we write dy by dx as equal to x square plus y square upon x square plus xy so whenever we have been given a differential equation and we have to prove that it is homogeneous we we write dy by dx as equal to a function of xy and generally we are going to obtain a function in the form of fraction okay now we write this function as equal to fxy okay now to prove that this function is homogeneous what we do we replace x with lambda x and y with lambda y where lambda is a constant okay so actually we are going to calculate the value of f of lambda x lambda y okay so i'm going to get lambda x whole square plus lambda y whole square upon lambda x whole square plus lambda x into lambda y okay so this on simplification would give me lambda square upon lambda square into x square plus y square upon x square plus xy it is very easy to see on simplifying this this would be lambda square x square this will be lambda square y square this will be lambda square x square and these two lambda are going to become lambda square so i get lambda square upon lambda square as common and now f of lambda x lambda y is equal to lambda to the power of 0 into fxy so this shows that this function fxy is a homogeneous function of degree 0 okay so whenever or uh, whenever we have dy by dx as equal to an homogeneous function of degree 0 then the given equation is a homogeneous differential equation okay so to prove that a given equation is a homogeneous differential equation it is enough to show that lambda x lambda y that is f of lambda x lambda y is equal to lambda to the power of 0 times f of x y okay now we can also prove that the given equation is a homogeneous differential equation by another method okay so we can write the differential equation as dy by dx as equal to x square plus y square upon x square plus xy okay now if we divide numerator and denominator by x square i get this expression and on solving i get dy by dx as equal to 1 plus y square upon x square plus uh, upon 1 plus y upon x it is very easy to see okay and this y upon x y square upon x square can be written as y upon x whole square okay now since we have simplified dy by dx as terms of y upon x so we can write that dy by dx as equal to g of y upon x now g of y upon x signifies that the degree of y upon x is equal to zero right therefore the given or uh, the given uh, this expression can be considered as a homogeneous function of degree zero okay now g of y upon x contains one variable y another variable x and uh, both of them have degree one in in sense of variables so combining both their degree we get the net degree as equal to zero so this shows that dy by dx which is equal to gy uh, g of y upon x is a homogeneous function of degree zero so this uh, in this manner we can also prove that the given uh, equation is a homogeneous differential equation okay now since this was the first problem so we have taken so much time to prove 
that this equation is a homogeneous equation by two methods in further problems i'm not i'm not going to take so much time but to summarize to prove that a given equation is a homogeneous differential equation you can do it by two method in both the methods we take the dy by dx as uh, as equal to a function and we prove that it is a homogeneous function of degree zero so first is to uh, prove that f of lambda x lambda y is equal to lambda to the power of zero times f of x y and second method is to show that dy by dx is equal to g of y upon x and because y upon x has the net degree in variables as equal to zero so g of y upon x is equal to a homogeneous function of degree zero so this proves that the given equation is a homogeneous differential equation now we shall solve this differential equation now to solve this differential equation what what is uh, the first and the most important step is the substitution step and in substitution what we do we place y is equal to vx right so this is the important substitution or the most important substitution for a given homogeneous equation to be solved okay and the next thing what has to be done is differentiation of both sides with respect to x so on differentiating both sides with respect to x i'm going to get dy by dx is equal to v plus x dv upon dx both of them are variable v and x so first function into differentiation of second function v into d by dx of x would give me one so i obtain v here and x into dv upon dx okay now what we are going to do we are going to place y is equal to vx here and dy by dx as equal to v plus x dv upon dx for dy by dx so i'm going to get an expression like this okay so y vx y vx is placed here okay further on simplification i can take x square common this two cancels out to give me v plus x dv upon dx as equal to 1 plus v square upon 1 plus v this v goes here I get x dv by dx is equal to 1 plus v square upon 1 plus v minus v. Solving or simplifying these two terms, I get 1 plus v square minus v minus v square upon 1 plus v. These two cancels out. So I get x dv by dx is equal to 1 minus v upon 1 plus v. Right? Now, what this substitution does for a differential equation is this. That is homogeneous differential equation is this that uh, it converts the equation into variable separable form okay now you can see we can easily separate the variables that is terms of v on one side and x on other side so i get 1 plus v upon 1 minus v dv is equal to 1 upon x dx now i can integrate both the sides to obtain this expression now to integrate 1 upon x we can directly apply the formula but 1 plus p upon 1 minus v needs some simplification this fraction needs some simplification and best way to simplify is to divide so i'm going to divide it so taking 1 plus v and dividing it by 1 minus v here we have plus v here it is minus v in the divisor so i'm going to multiply this by minus 1 so this will be equal to minus 1 plus v on multiplication and subtracting i'm going to get here 2 so this fraction can be written as minus 1 quotient plus remainder upon divisor plus 2 upon minus v so this value sorry this value goes here for 1 plus v upon 1 minus v okay now i can integrate minus 1 i can i can integrate 2 upon 1 minus v and this will be equal to 1 upon x dx i can also integrate this as equal to log x so i have to in this integral as equal to minus v integration of minus 1 minus v integration of 2 upon 1 minus v is equal to minus 2 log of 1 minus v is equal to log of x plus log of c so actually my differential equation is about about solved now we, uh, the next thing is uh, which is to be done is uh, replacement of uh, this y in terms of y and x now because we have substituted y is equal to vx so v is equal to y upon x so we are going to replace 
v with y upon x so i am going to get the expression like this v y upon x v y upon x further taking this term 2 log 1 minus y upon x on the right hand side i am going to get minus y upon x is equal to 2 log of 1 minus y upon x plus log of x plus log of c now this term can be written as log of x minus y whole square upon x square you can see that on simplifying this would be equal to x minus y upon x and this 2 is taken as the power okay now we can combine these three terms of log to obtain minus y upon x is equal to log of x minus y whole square upon x square into cx this x and x cancels out so i get minus y upon x is equal to log of x minus y whole square into c upon x okay now we can convert this equation uh, into exponential form so i get c into x minus y whole square upon x is equal to e to the power of minus y upon x okay further i can write this as c into x minus y whole square is equal to x into e to the power of minus y upon x and this c can be written as 1 upon c or k so i get x minus y whole square is equal to k into x into e to the power of minus y upon x okay so actually this could be my answer but uh, to match the answer at the back of the textbook we have performed this actually you have no idea to match the answer given in the textbook but as i'm solving for your convenience i have written it in this form but if you write this answer c into x minus y whole square is equal to x into e to the power of minus y upon x then this would be equally correct okay so this is how i'm going to solve this question and this would be my required answer friends thanks for watching my video to watch more of these super videos and for the latest updates subscribe and like the videos on these channels on youtube hsk shiksha and math help by hsk thank you